Hi! I consider this handheld device to be a bit of a paradox. It is intended to keep you healthy by sterilizing, but claims to do so with UVC radiation, which is anything but healthy. Time for some testing. Does it really emit ultraviolet sea light? Isn't the hazardous light reflected back at you when using it on a surface? And will these cheap safety glasses, meant for UVA from amber searchlights, protect against UVC too? Avoid UVC radiation. Do not let it hit your eyes or skin. It will ruin your DNA. Considering this is only specified to emit invisible UVC around 260 to 280 nanometers, it is a bit weird that some visible violet light is coming from it. To me, it looks like weak 405 nanometers. Is it really emitting UVC? Apparently, there is a simple indicator for UVC light. A green banana. It should change color under UVC, but not under UVA light. Let's use it to test if the sterilizer does in fact emit ultraviolet C. I am using black electrical tape as a mask for higher contrast to spot any color change, and some cardboard to avoid cross light. I am comparing the sterilizer to an amber searchlight that I know from a previous video emits UVA light, no UVB or C. If the sterilizer does emit UVC, the banana should change color on the left side only. After 10 minutes, the sterilizer automatically turns off. Let's give it 10 minutes more. After a 20 minute exposure, it is time to look for a difference. Um, I don't see any changes. Either this banana has little to no sensitivity to UVC, or the sterilizer is not emitting UVC. Using the same banana, I then tested with a 3 watt bulb I have confirmed to emit UVC earlier. After 10 minutes, again, no changes at all. I guess this test method is not the most reliable. I then upped the ante and used a 20 watt UVC fluorescent tube up close for 15 minutes. Okay, this time I am seeing a clear difference. But is it really from UVC alone? Wouldn't the heat radiation from the lamp have this effect? I think this method needs further investigation, but for now, I'll switch to a more scientific instrument than a banana. A spectrometer that will tell us exactly what wavelengths the sterilizer is emitting. According to the specs, it should emit light in this UVC area. But I see light that looks to be in this area. Time to see what is truly going on. Ah. I see double peaks. It is emitting UVC, but most of the output is from UVA LEDs centered around 395 nanometers. The mentioned wavelengths of 260 to 280 nanometers is only the UVC part from LEDs centered around 275 nanometers. In reality, this device is emitting UVC, a little UVB, and mostly UVA and some visible violet. If we take a closer look at the tiny LEDs, the dual emitters are pretty obvious. I guess the 600 megawatts, no, milliwatts is the total for both emitters. The UVC output is not massive, but it is there and will therefore disinfect with some patience, given the low output. I just don't like having my own DNA destroyed or mutated. The light does turn off if turned upside down, but isn't UVC reflected off surfaces like visible light? Let's start with a likely worst case scenario, a mirror with its specular aluminum coating. Designed to reflect light, it is no surprise it reflects the visible violet well. 
But what about the invisible ultraviolet C? Hmm, some UVC is reflected, but not nearly as well as the UVA. A less specular aluminum sheet has a reflection that looks almost like the spectrum directly from the diodes. The mirror seems to absorb the UVC. Can you guess why? More info later. I tested several surfaces and all showed some reflection of UVC. I admit it is very little in most cases, but I prefer having no UVC hit me at all. For perspective, I will show you how much UVC there is in skin cooking sunlight after this short but important message. Thank you so much to all my patrons. You really make a difference in financially challenging times. If you want to help me make more videos like this one, check out the Patreon link in the description. You will also get full access to my bonus content for just a dollar a month. Thank you. Alright, time to see how much UVC sunlight contains. This is the spectrum from the blue sky near the sun. I am not pointing directly at the sun, it would overexpose my spectrometer. As we can tell, there's practically no UVC in sunlight. That's why I try to avoid UVC exposure altogether. It just isn't something we are used to dealing with or naturally encounter. That's also why sunscreens are designed to protect against UVA and B, not UVC which is negligible in sunlight. Interestingly, even with a little smoothing of the spectrum turned on, some big dips are noticeable. These are known as Fraunhofer lines. This one around 430 nanometers is caused by iron and calcium in the sun's atmosphere absorbing the light. And this one around 760 nanometers is absorption from oxygen molecules in the Earth's atmosphere. The lack of UVC is because it is absorbed by triatomic oxygen, the famous ozone layer, in the Earth's atmosphere. Fascinating. Looking at the blue sky spectrum through triple pane windows, it is clear that it contains even less ultraviolet. So the line glass absorbs UV light on the 330 nanometers. That's why the mirror reflects very little UVC. It is absorbed by the glass. The detected UVC is probably from first surface reflection of the glass, not a reflection from the aluminum layer under the glass. Okay, despite the low reflection, I still prefer to protect my eyes against the UVC. I wonder if these glasses meant for amber searchlights will do the job. Oh yes, these will protect my eyes against all UV. Nice to know. UVC is actually absorbed by a lot of transparent materials. This polycarbonate visor removes it too, but not the UVA. Alright, I feel a little more familiar with UVC now. Click like if you learned something too. I think the banana test deserves further trial. Comment with any input you may have for testing it and subscribe for the future video. In any case, thanks for watching. Bye for now.